Ciao everyone! In this tutorial we will be working on this stunning little chest of drawers. There is actually a little plan for this piece to apply this stunning gondola and landscape decoupage paper, but the rest is just go with the flow, the ideas came while progressing with the work on this piece, but you'll see in a moment. I cleaned the whole piece with white lightening, which is Dixie Bell Furniture Cleaner, and I rubbed uh, all that dirt away. I used a toothbrush to clean in between the details, and I switched to an abrasive cloth for the rest of the piece. Then I rinsed the whole piece two times, only with water, to get rid of any leftover solution. We let it dry overnight and it's time to start painting. I started to apply a delicious shade of brown called chocolate and I applied it only on the corner of the drawer because the transfer is not wide enough to cover the whole thing. There will be like a 2 cm gap on each side which will be covered with brown and it will also help us to blend in the transfer, you'll see in a minute. I kind of faded the brown towards the middle of the drawer so we don't have like a straight edge when applying the transfer. I also wiped a bit of the chocolate from the edges to leave some of the wood revealed. In the middle I applied buttercream, which is a pretty off-white and I kind of faded it out at the end in the chocolate using short horizontal strokes. Doesn't really matter because this will go underneath the decoupage paper. I let it dry for about two hours and meanwhile I started to work on the first drawer. Anyway, seeing these splendabulous carvings on the first drawer, I thought it would be really cool if I leave the drawer as it is and just add some baby blue and green in between the carvings then wipe over them. So I did that. And the leftover color in between the carvings is just a dream. So first I dumped the whole drawer and then I applied the glue on some carvings and then I applied some holy guacamole in others or over the gulf as well, making like a mix of colors. But mainly I applied gulf because it looks really really lovely. This is actually such a simple trick that does a lot to a piece. Like, I love this drawer so much.
I used a bigger brush for the middle as I wanted to be more intense, more colored and then just wipe over. It's time for another exciting step, applying the decoupage paper. I actually ripped off the white borders as I didn't want to have like a straight line and this way I feel like it blends better with the paint and just looks prettier. I applied a layer of clear coat on both drawers which will act as a glue and then I stick the paper on. If you didn't stick it right you can lift it up and reposition it, no worries. And they are not only easy to apply but these rice papers are all so cool because you can distress, paint, get really creative and quirky with them. Once I was happy with it, I applied another layer of clear coat over and then with a blade I just um, cut the paper in between the drawers and I went over uh, with some more clear coat where I made the cut. I get rid of the extra paper with a 220 grit and this way it will be nicely removed. Once I was done with it, I let it dry for about 2 hours. Now let's add the second coat of chocolate, same as we did in the first coat. But this time we will go over the decoupage paper with the paint so it will integrate it in our situation here. It will look really nice. I picked up a small amount of paint and I first applied it on the edges where I want the color to be more intense and with the leftover paint I stippled it over the transfer with a light hand and kind of fading it out. Doing like this, um, it will make the paper and the piece to look like a whole, integrating the decoupage paper really well and it's also looking like it has been painted a long long time ago and it has a long past story behind. What do you think about it? By the way guys, all the products used are listed in the description below, just so you know. Once I was done with it, I let it dry for another 2 hours and then I took a little piece of 240 grit sandpaper and I started to sand the corners to reveal the wood. It looks actually really interesting, I like it. Then I went over the decoupage with the sandpaper slightly and we are done with the front. Let's move working on the side and top and apply some voodoo gel stain in Tobacco Road to give this wood a tint while leaving it to pick through. The Tobacco Road has a similar shade as the brown paint I used so I decided to um, apply the gel stain instead of doing like a color wash with chocolate in order to get the same look. It's just easier. After the gel stain dried, I applied the gulf on every corner and edge and with a damp cloth I wiped it, leaving behind this stunning look that it's matchy-matchy with the first drawer on the front.
I let it dry for two hours and it was ready to be sealed with flat clear coat in three layers, letting each coat to dry for two hours. On the drawer sides, I applied Best Mama's Butter in Orange Grove uh, to revive the wood. On the top, we applied three coats of Gator Hide to have a more durable finish. And same, letting each coat to dry for two hours. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It inspired you in any way. And if you did so, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more furniture tutorials. See you next time. Bye!